Tonight, the DePaul Cristo Rey High School community is remembering one of their students. 19 year old Emmanuel Hayes died Sunday night after someone shot him. This was in Westwood. WCPO 9 News anchor Brett Boganski is live outside campus. Brett, you found out his former classmates, they all got together last night. Yeah, this was an emotional one, Tanya, and the school released a statement saying they're heartbroken by what happened to Emmanuel Hayes and what a big loss he was. And we found out from some of his friends today that they're still coming back to school even after they graduated, attending open gyms, staying in shape with one another, but they also have been talking about what they want to do for the rest of their lives. About four weeks ago, Emmanuel Hayes walked across the stage and graduated from DePaul Cristo Rey. A celebration after learning through a pandemic. Coming through in the big moments on the basketball court. I've just been pushed to the side. Yeah, but I'm gonna Can I be a director again? Or or no, I don't want to be. I quit. <laughs> Making his friends laugh and getting dressed up with them on prom night. He's always been there for people. And it made you happy to see him make other people happy. If you ask Mark Kidd and Julius Nelson, Emmanuel was a leader who was generous, kind, and would go out of his way to help you. Whether it was help me through tough times or, you know, have a phone in the basketball court or just events in and outside of school. If I knew what would have happened, I would have told them to stay here. I wouldn't have let them leave. It's especially tough for Mar because he told us Emmanuel was at his house hours before the shooting Sunday. Mar said he called Emmanuel around 7 that night but never heard from him. Cincinnati police said at 5 p.m. officers responded to a double shooting at an apartment complex in Westwood. Officers said somebody dropped off a manual at UC Medical Center, but he died. By Monday, their class found out about what happened to him and decided to get together where they grew up. It was a very emotional environment, but it was good to be there with people who love not only you, but him and got to share their experience. And his friends told me they're still trying to find out why he was over at that apartment complex and why this happened. Meanwhile, we are still waiting to hear from Cincinnati police about any potential suspects or if officers ended up arresting anyone for Sunday shooting in Westwood. We are live outside of DePaul Crystal Ray tonight. Brett Bogansky, WCPO 9 News.